Hello YouTube, this is Taladin of Tal's Minecraft, and today we are working on a how-to for the Industrial Craft 2 mod. Uh, I often stream on Twitch.tv, and when I am there, I have a lot of people come into the chat room and ask me, Taladin, what do you do when you first start Industrial Craft? How do you get started? There's so many machines, there's so many things to do. What is your first goal when you're, when you're trying to get started on Industrial Craft? And that's what we're going to cover today. Uh, just kind of a basic how to get started. Now you guys have seen, I'm sure, how to survive and thrive and you know survive your first night videos and things like that. Uh, so I'm not going to go over all that. You guys know how to survive. If you're watching this, generally you're looking for an industrial craft tutorial. So we're not going to worry about going over that. Today what I want to go over is some of the resources and items that you're going to want to aim for whenever you first get started on Minecraft with uh, Industrial Craft 2 mod. Now what we're looking at here is we're looking at the basic four basic resources that you want uh, to gather up for industrial craft in the form of ores. Uh, you have your iron, copper, redstone, and tin. Generally, these are in order of importance from left to right. Okay, and the goal that you are aiming for are generally machines and tools in order of importance from left to right. A macerator an extractor, an electric furnace, and a compressor. Okay, now when you first get started you're of course going to be mining lots and lots of resources. You want to get lots and lots of iron, copper, redstone, and tin uh, to first get started. So it's going to be a lot like playing regular Minecraft. Uh, you'll notice I've got a couple of trees here and these are the same types of trees. These are called rubber trees. Uh, and they drop, of course, rubber tree saplings. Um, when you first uh, start looking for these trees, and you're going to want to try and find them early on, uh, you're going to notice that it has three leaves on top of the tree, uh, which is unlike any other tree in the Minecraft uh, setting, and I haven't seen any other mods that do that. Uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to look for the trees that have these little orange dots on them. This is the Sfax texture pack. In the default texture pack, they are little orange rectangles. Okay. Uh, sometimes you'll be lucky and they'll be below the below the leaf line. Other times they will be above the leaf line uh, in the trunk of the tree, and you'll have to clear out the leaves like I have done here. Obviously, both of these are below the leaf line. Uh, when you do that you're going to want to uh, grab some wood make wooden planks of course uh, you know how to do that so I'm not going to worry about showing you how to do that and you make this shape here okay it looks like a tap like a faucet uh, and it, that's exactly what it is is a tree tap uh, you take your tree tap and you will probably want to take a couple with you because you're going to want to you are going to want to gather plenty of uh, this stuff here. You right click it and you see sticky resin comes into your inventory. Once you do that and you gather up enough of this sticky resin, you can then go over here to your furnace and cook off the sticky resin. Um, just take a piece of coal, put it in your furnace, put your sticky resin in there and it will make rubber okay and it is a one-to-one -one ratio whenever you're burning uh, coal or burning sticky resin in the furnace uh, to make rubber so it is not very efficient but this is the way that you have to go and you have to uh, have an extractor to get a better ratio we'll, I'll show you that now um, what you're going to do is uh, once you have your extractor set up and I've got all the recipes for the extractor set up um, you take a piece of sticky resin put it in there and as you can see it makes three pieces of rubber for every one piece of sticky resin let me do that again so you can see one piece of resin three pieces of rubber for one piece of resin so that is a much more efficient way of doing it now, the two machines you're going to angle for first are, of course, the macerator and the extractor. Those are probably the two most important machines when you're beginning. Uh, at least for me, it is. 
what you're going to do is you're going to want to make some cables which is copper ingots which is simply mined copper that is smelted in a furnace and then you can take and either way either horizontally or vertically you're going to put three copper ingots surrounded by six rubber uh, and it will give you six copper cables and once you've made the cables you're going to want to make a circuit okay you know, refined iron is simply iron that has been re-smelted in a furnace so you smelt iron ore twice to make refined iron refined iron redstone copper cables into an electronic circuit the next step is a machine block you get eight pieces of refined iron makes one machine block just in the same pattern as a furnace and then you're going to want to make a battery or a rechargeable battery it's called an RE battery four pieces of tin two pieces of redstone and a cable and you make a generator which is a furnace a machine block and a battery okay the generator is able to take these batteries and charge them Let me get a battery here to my inventory for you using coal okay and you take that battery put p three pieces of coal in there and it will charge that battery up the generator will charge the battery up and as you can see the little line on the bottom is slowly filling up uh, and once it fills up the battery will be charged and you will be able to run your macerator with a battery your uh, extractor with a battery for electric furnace with a battery all of those run on electricity electrical power okay now the end game for that is once you have your generator you're going to want to make either an extractor or a macerator I generally try and uh, gather up enough resources to make both a macerator and extractor at the same time and the reason that you want to do that is of course is the extractor you want to be able to extract the rubber from the sticky resin more efficiently and for the extractor it's very simple four tree taps an electronic circuit and a machine block in that order gives you an extractor okay and then the macerator three pieces of flint a machine block in the middle a piece of cobblestone on either side an electronic circuit on the bottom gives you a macerator uh, the reason this is going to do is this, uh, the reason you want to do this is because you want to make uh, your resource gathering more efficient again the sticky resin in the extractor the iron in the macerator or any type of ore iron copper tin gold any type of ore except for diamonds the macerator will break down into dust okay one piece of iron ore equals two pieces of dust okay now you will then be able to take that dust and smelt it in a furnace so that you get one piece of iron or one ingot for each dust so you are doubling your output with the macerator now of course these machines are running faster because I have some overclocker upgrades set in them and that's another video uh, we'll work on that uh, in a separate video I just didn't want it to take all day to show you guys how to do uh, or how these machines work now the next thing that I usually go for is a mining drill and a backpack or a diamond mining drill and backpack the reason being is these the mining drill is very efficient uh, at collecting materials you can collect any type of any type of resource with a mining drill except for wood uh, and wooden objects really quickly with that refined iron five pieces an electronic circuit and a rechargeable battery makes a mining drill and then once you have three diamonds makes a diamond drill now all of this stuff is on the industrial craft wiki uh, and you'll be able to see the recipes there so don't worry about trying to remember all the recipes and I usually along the way try and throw down uh, resources for a battery pack uh, so because this makes the drill last longer so I'm gonna grab this diamond drill here and I'm gonna grab this bat pack okay and then I'm gonna charge them up real quick 
uh, and I'll show you the recipe for the bat box that I use. Uh, and I'm actually, I'm going uh, to throw them up here in the MFE. Um, and that will take a minute to recharge. I can recharge the drill in my bat in my bat box here. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to set out some stuff to break. Okay. Now, cobblestone. We're going to do some obsidian. And then let's do some iron ore. So you kind of get an idea what's what the speed of the drill is. And this is the this is to show you why I always go for those first. Your main uh your main goal whenever you're starting out is efficiently gathering as many resources as possible. Okay. So both of those are charged. I'm gonna hop out of creative mode here. And we're going to put on the backpack and put on the diamond drill. Now, let us get a pickaxe. I don't want to get an iron pickaxe, which is fairly typical. Okay. That's the speed of an iron pickaxe. Okay. Now, this is the speed of the diamond drill you can see it is substantially faster and even on something like obsidian it is substantially faster now it does take a minute to break the industrial craft 2 the diamond drill is not as fast on obsidian as it was uh, in the original industrial craft mod but you can see it is much faster to harvest obsidian uh, with a diamond drill than even using like a diamond pickaxe so, uh, the diamond drill, the macerator, and the extractor are generally the first machines that I try to make, uh, devices, resources that I try to make, <coughs> because they enable you to expand fast. Um, and of course, we're going to talk about our power structure here. Now, this is a more advanced setup of power structure. Eventually, you're going to get tired of charging these batteries. Uh, in the generator burning coal uh, because it does take three pieces of coal to charge a single battery and these devices will burn through uh, batteries relatively quickly. I can macerate a little less than half of a stack of, a, of iron with a battery so uh, that that tells you that you know you're eventually going to want some better power output you have a couple of options in industrial craft for power uh... the most efficient is the geothermal generator um, but i'm not going to go over those today what i want to go over today is solar power because a lot of people like the solar power uh... it is a renewable energy source you don't have to go find lava or anything like that uh... you don't have to do anything once it's set up um, what you're going to do is you're going to want to have solar panels and you'll notice I have them in a line of 40 here, so that's 120 solar panels. Uh, well, I'm missing one right there, but that's okay. And you will notice I have here not the copper cables, but I have 10 cables here that uh, I've played around with the solar arrays, and I have come to find that this is the most efficient in charging up the equipment. Now, what you're going to do is once you get this set up and it does take a lot of resources to set up this many solar panels uh, but this is this is type kind of an end game to where you're starting from uh, this is what you want to angle towards to be able to do mass production of uh, things if you're using the build craft and logistics pipes and things like that um, but you'll notice I have here an MFE that holds 60,000 <coughs> excuse me 600,000 electrical units. This is a medium voltage transformer. This is diamond cable or, or glass fiber cable. This is a medium voltage transformer into a low voltage transformer that then goes into a battery box that distributes the power out to uh, the 
machinery. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take to make a bat box. Need three batteries, copper cable, and some planks. Okay, now for the low voltage transformer, four planks, two copper cables, and three pieces of copper. For the medium voltage transformer, a machine block and two pieces of copper cable. Then you need to create energy crystals. This is for the MFE. You can get by with just a bat box and no more than 30 uh, two solar panels. Bat box can only take in 32 electrical units per tick per second, okay? Anything else will be wasted. Um, but to get the maximum uh, usage out of this you actually want to go ahead and work up towards making uh, the MFEs. So you take a diamond, surround it by redstone and it will make an energy crystal. You need four energy crystals, four copper cables, and a machine block to make the MFE. Then your solar panels are glass, coal dust, which is coal that has been macerated, two electronic circuits, and a generator. That will make your solar panels. You can see this is kind of an expensive item to make 120 of these, but it can be done relatively quickly once you get your macerator and your extractor and your drill going. And then of course you want your low voltage cable, which is just three pieces of tin. Uh, ultra low current cable is what the game calls it. Uh, that gives you nine pieces of cabling. You simply lay the cabling out get some cable here simply lay the cable out and you can count out as long as you want uh, up to 40 spaces uh, it will not it stops drop it starts dropping uh, current over 40 spaces so uh, you lose efficiency and then you just take your solar panels once you've got them created and you lay them out along the sides and you will see that of course the cables automatically connect to the machines. Um, this design here, this layout, is what is known as a solar fork because generally you run three or four of them in parallel and then come into all sides of your MFE. Each side of the MFE can take in, uh, I believe it's 128 uh, electrical units per tick, which is per second basically. Um, I may be mistaken, you probably want to research that on the wiki if you're if you're big into the numbers, but you're going to uh, eventually move up to one called an MFSU which stores like 10 million units um, but this is this is the end game for the beginning uh, when you when you get started this is what you're this is what you're angling for is to get a setup like this so that you can actually produce uh, resources more efficiently more quickly and then you can move on to doing other things with build craft with uh, red power if you're playing the technic pack um, basically that is the gist of how to get started with or how I get started with um, industrial craft uh, it seems like a lot of stuff to do but you should be able to if you buckle down and work on finding resources diamonds are one of the harder things to find of course but <coughs> you should be able to achieve this within a day or so of, of starting out the world um, if not then work on your ore gathering uh, a lot of people like to find dungeons or not dungeons but uh, caverns and strip them of ores and that's fine I find that a lot of times what will, what will happen is uh, I will strip mine which is every two to three blocks over I'll make a 20 long tunnel two high one wide and then just 
make like catacombs like that. Um, generally, I find better resources that way without having to deal with uh, all the monsters. Uh, but that is the um, that is the way that I get started. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask here. Uh, you can also check me out on Twitch.tv. Uh, it's just twitch.tv slash taladin and I'll put a link in the description for that and I will also try and remember to put a link in the description for the industrial craft mod so I appreciate you guys taking time to watch and uh, check back 